Hi everyone, Lynn here, and I'm just curious if you have been where I have been this last couple of, or this last week for me, and that is in the muck. Yes, everything that I've tried to do this week, I tried to write three different emails and send it out to you guys, and all of them just poof, disappeared on me. Like I was editing one, it was all done, all written out, and I was just going through editing and then all of a sudden it's gone. When I went back, the only thing that was saved were the first two lines. That happened to me twice. And so then I decided, well, I'm going to do a video and the video didn't record. <laughs> and it's just been, so know that I have been trying to reach out and send something out to you, but it didn't happen last week. And so I'm hoping that it'll happen this week. We'll see. But I know Mer Mercury was in retrograde last week and I, and I really try not to su subscribe to that idea. But it, it had its influence, I have to admit. My virtual assistant and I were, were missing emails from each other and, we, you know, just miscommunicating. And that's, you know, all in the, the stars, as so they, so they say. And so I want to just, you know, share with you some, some ideas around when, when you are in the muck, what are some things that you can do to help move yourself through it a lot faster. And the first thing is to recognize that you're in the muck. A lot of us want to bury our head in the sand and say, no, I'm not. This is not happening. I'm just going to deny this. Or the other reaction might be that we're just going to force our way through it. And by golly, we're going to get things done and make things happen. And that is so our masculine in overdrive. And ideally, what we want to do is to honor where we're at. Honor and recognize that, yes, we're in this muck and... Uh, we can just love ourselves and love ourselves even more because we're going through all this stuff. So I have um, tried to work with my energy and shift my energy because it just has felt off all week. And um, things were showing up that let me know that things were off because everything that shows up in your business and in your life is a reflection of what's going on in you. And believe me, this week things have been telling me I'm off. So what I've done is I've um, tried to work on myself and do what I know how to do best, and yet that wasn't enough. And so I've reached out to three different practitioners and went and got support. And um, working, you know, reaching out and getting the, the nourishment and the love and the support that I needed from three others. And then I also took care of myself. And I really tried to, to back off a little bit and not try to do as much and really take care of myself and nurture myself. I went for long walks. I was really connecting into nature and really wanted to take care of myself. Like I took a nap, hardly ever take naps, but I just needed a nap to take a break and just kind of like, you know, tune out for a little bit. And it was really, really helpful. So I hope this helps you the next time you go through the muck is to just recognize that you're in it um, you know, the more you can acknowledge it and work with it, the more you can hopefully quick, quickly, more quickly get through it instead of staying stuck in it. So I just invite you to reach out and get some support when you find that your energy is not aligned and things just aren't flowing as easily as they, they could. Um, it just means that something needs to shift for you. And if you're not able to figure it out on your own, please reach out and get some help and support. And I would love to be that. If you need any, um, just please reach out. I'd be happy to give you a free 30-minute uh, phone consultation. We'll see what's going on and what can shift for you. So um, I hope this helps. But the biggest piece to remember is to take care of you. All right, blessings, everybody. Take care.